Everybody knows in this locker room how I feel about seniors, right? I'll tell you this though, okay? I've been doing this for 14 years here in Maryland. We've had so many great life lessons from our seniors, right? And we've talked about them all season long. But the things, the tangibles that I'll take that, that you reflect when you go on the court today, that they've brought to the table, you talk about, you know, a, a, a work ethic, a fighter's mentality that have all led to a championship mentality. They win. They came in here for five years and spent all summer with us. All summer. Because they wanted to show what it's like to work. When you work hard, you're going to have great success. You're going to have great success when you work hard. There's no, there's no other substitute, right? And, and you have to understand, when you look back, all right, when you look back six months from now, a year, ten years from now, with your family, with your friends, the only way you're going to be happy is if you know that you left everything out there today. The only way you're going to be happy is if you know that you left everything out there today on the floor. You go out there and you show them the workman -like mentality for 40 minutes. You play with great poise, great confidence, and you go show them what Maryland basketball is all about. Melina Howard and Furman from the near side knocks it down. Here comes Mosley all the way to the rim. Showing her explosiveness. She's one of those seniors they're celebrating today. Oh, and here's a steal by Cody Pavlik. Walker Kimbrough ahead of everyone. Marlene Stallings is going to need a timeout here. And, I, you know, this this one's special. Like, this one I'm going to remember for a, for a long time. And, I mean, man, you, you couldn't have scripted it any better for our seniors to, to be able to send them out um, in a game of this fa fashion. Maryland, a great inbound pass. Walker Kimbrough to Furman and the foul. As soon as they get a peek at an open shot. It's been a big first quarter for Cheney Furman. Here's Mosley looking for something in transition. <laughs> that play is called it's senior night, so whatever I decide to do is going to go. Pavlik for a three, and she knocks it down on senior day. Uh, it feels awesome. You know, we definitely had a little bit of luck. And uh, coming into this game, we all had sort of talked about it, that we wanted to be Big Ten champions again. So, obviously, this game meant a lot to the seniors and a lot to our team. Furman with the miss, one-handed rebound for Howard. I mean, there's no other team I'd rather win this with this year going out. I think that um, we just have such good relationships and such good chemistry, and we all care about each other. And I think it's awesome when you have great teammates who play for your seniors. And I know that we've put in a lot of work, so it's just really special. I don't think they were really prepared for two. So as soon as we've seen her take one, it's keep feeding and keep going back and forth. I knew yesterday in practice. <laughs> be here without her. She hit another one, Bob. A career high, 23 points. Um, I said it in my pregame speech, I mean, in terms of what each and every one of them had been through, uh, you know, for tyranny. I mean, just a season full of injuries uh, in her four years. And, you know, she, she never quit. You know, she always kept fighting. She always kept coming back. And... Um, just incredible to be able to witness kind of the tyranny of old. This is what a healthy tyranny looks like. And uh, the way she shot the ball, the confidence she had, uh, the rebounding. I mean, career highs in both. But just, uh, you know, I mean, what a performance and what a memory she's going to have in, in her senior year. This tyranny firming continues on a tear for Maryland. What a senior day it's been for her. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. I think she was our super weapon tonight. That's all I think. So yay for tyranny. Great senior game. Um, again, it just goes back to uh, why they've won so much in their college careers. And um, there was no doubt in the statement that they were going to make tonight. And to be able to see all five seniors score, uh, the, the energy that they had, what this team played for, uh, showed you a lot in terms of uh, what we were able to do. Like, I know y'all think it may go unnoticed, but I know we appreciate everything that y'all do every single day, so thank you so much. Because this doesn't, this, we can't do this by ourselves. So thank you. On behalf of the Commissioner Jim Delaney, it is my honor to present the 
Big Ten regular season trophy to the Maryland women's basketball team for the second year in a row. Congratulations to Coach Reigns and the Lady Terrapins of the number one seed in the upcoming Big Ten women's basketball tournament. Hey, I, I just want to say, first of all, we are honored, um, obviously, in the Big Ten. A tremendous uh, conference and for us to be able to do it back-to-back -back years um, just so proud uh, of the consistency and of this group right here and I got to thank all of you the greatest fans in the country what a home court advantage you give us each and every night and I can't thank you enough for all of your support to our seniors What a way for our seniors to be able to go back, back to back, regular season champions, and what a way for us to be able to send them out in their senior home game. And to our team, to our staff, to our support staff, everybody that worked so hard, go Terps Big Ten champions! Go. Anytime March hits, you know, every team is going to come out and uh, be inspired to play. I mean, you win, you advance, you lose, you go home. So, you know, I thought Iowa did a tremendous job taking advantage that they had played yesterday. They were red hot shooting the basketball. I mean, they really came out and punched first. Uh, it took a, us a while in that first quarter, I think, with our nerves and jitters, never having played on the court, no shoot around, early tip. Um, but I like the fact that we weren't too rattled, even when they, they, they got up maybe 10 on us. And uh, we really locked in in the second quarter. I thought our defense and our rebounding really changed the game. Uh, you know, and then I thought, you know, we, we were led by our vets. You know, I thought our, our upperclassmen, obviously, Bree and Shatori gave us a, a great inside outside punch that you got to be able to have. And uh, then our vets, our, our seniors were really steady. I mean, when you talk about the balance that, that we were able to have. So um, you have to understand, I mean, you, you, you need everybody. You need that depth uh, to be called upon. I thought our bench was really ready to play today and, and did a tremendous job. But, um, you know, exciting to, to be able to get a, a good first win and to be able to advance for tomorrow. I think Tierney gave us a really big spark off the bench. And then I think everyone sort of just decided to lock in. Uh, lock in defensively. I know we started getting steals and then we started converting in transition and then just all around our game started to come together. I love that you had to fight, you had to work, you had to earn that one. I thought we had great poise. I mean, you know, when, when you talk about in the game, they came out early and punched and, and we, did, we didn't even flinch because we knew we were going to, you know, get ourselves, you know, ready to go and, and we were going to play. It takes a team. It takes a team. I mean, Kaya, for your first tournament as a freshman, I mean, you were ready. You were ready today when your number was called. I mean, a phenomenal job, Kara. I thought so too. I mean, I, I thought the the effort and the energy, okay, in, in terms of what you're doing. I love this stat when you talk about points in the paint: 50 to 18. 50 to 18 in terms of, of uh, our point, points in the paint. Paint bench points: 17 to 13. Okay, so when you talk about as we continue along, all right, p with, with what we want to do, we got to keep having everybody. <laughs> Maybe proud, okay, well. Here with Brianna Jones, who's coming oh, off an amazing yeah. game here at the tournament. Brianna, tell me a little bit about today's game. Um, we came out a little slow today. I think uh, once uh, we got. <laughs> I think once we got uh, into it uh, and picked up our energy, I think we were great. Those B threatened us with practice if we lost, so I think that helped. <laughs> this game ain't over. When you talk about tournament time, you want to go home? You want to go practice? I was like, no, we don't want to practice. We want to keep playing games. So I think that was a lot of motivation because, you know, practice is great, but we would rather play games. Again, it's really important in, in terms of our recovery, all right, in terms of, uh, you know, our ice pass, uh, our attention to detail, um, in terms of getting off our feet and resting tonight, all right? We're, we're on a big mission in terms of what we're doing. This was the first 
first one, you see how hard it was. You know, do you want to talk to us about that? Uh, this is dry needling. Uh, Megan puts them in my knee and it releases the tension. So my tendonitis is like a little, it helps my tendonitis a little bit from my ACL surgery. I want you to do a contrast too. I can't, I mean, I can't, I really can't. Well, you be cold the whole day, don't Yo, you? I, no, the whole month. I'm gonna be cold the rest of the day. Seriously, Coach, I'm, I'm cold thinking about it. Coach, put that kale crunch down. I'm <laughs> One minute in the cold. And then what? Turning it back on the hot. One minute. That's the hardest part. Let's do it. That's okay. We need to finish tomorrow. I think just staying on top of recovery and uh, doing whatever Coach Pat and uh, Megan suggest that we do, um, ice baths, needling, uh, drinking our recovery shakes, getting to bed early, I think just staying on top of everything helps us uh, keep our energy up for the three games in a row. You don't got watch. It lets me go too good. We are decorating the pregame meal for the team so they can see the support of the rebounders. We like to be the, we're there in the stands during the home games, so we're there for tournaments and we want them to know that we love them. Well, today we've got um, a championship sign, what a champion is, all kinds of embarrassing photos for the players to spread around so they can enjoy them. We have notes written by the rebounders to the, to the players to show their support. I think it looks festive. <laughs> okay, that's right. We good? Can we make the fairies disappear before the coach appears this time? Oh, yes. <laughs> They're funny. Some of the pictures are really funny. Like how young I look at these. And like just some of the pictures too of us talking, I can tell we're being really funny. So it's just really cool and really neat that um, people are giving us these memories and um, decorating things for us. We just decided it was something that needed to be done. They needed to have a touch of home wherever they went. There is a nice turnout from the Maryland following here today. In and out, Brianna Jones with another offensive board going to work and she's got all four of Maryland's first points. It's a three for Kristen Confort. And especially those subs look like they're playing three. Look out, Furman. Judy Furman is, is instant offense. When she comes in the ball game, she's quick trigger. I'm not sure I've ever seen her put the ball on the floor more than one or two dribbles. So you certainly have to be aware of where she is because she's instant offense for the Turks. Transition opportunity for Maryland. Renee Mosley, the end one. Oh, Maryland is too efficient to give them easy looks and to give them long runs so they share the basketball. They pass up good shots to get great shots. It's why they shoot 50% from the floor. Walker Kimbrough thought about it, goes baseline instead and gets the two. Um, I thought we were able to, to kind of wear them down in the second half. I, I thought we were uh, really unselfish with the basketball when you talk about only 12 uh, turnovers, 21 assists, and uh, five players in double figures. We were um, just utilized our depth, our spark, uh, energy off the bench. Tierney and Brene uh, were fantastic. You know, Brene got to score her 1,000th point. Mosley has now hit 1,000 points in her career. That was 1,001 on that end of the floor. And, uh, you know, I just thought, thought we uh, allowed the game to kind of unfold and we took what the game gave us. And then I had the audacity. Oh, Brenda oh, came on and said, drive it. <laughs> she said, drive the ball. Drive the ball! Drive the ball! <laughs> what did I come do? Yeah. Jump shot. <laughs> <laughs> I, when the ball left my hands, I was like, please go in, please. <laughs> it did, because I was playing hard. Hey, you knocked it down, it's all good. <laughs> when I look across the board and I see a, a stat, five players in double figures, that's sharing the basketball. Okay, that's a great team. How do you guard us? That's a, a great job in terms of what we're doing, all right? One more, right? One well, more, what we what we came to, to go get, not right, with what we're doing. Um, a lot of people, obviously, in terms of, of a hard hat, but again, uh, when you talk about, you know, the spark that, that we were able to receive, um, Tierney, 17 points, seven boards, two assists, one steal. And, and scored her thousandth point in her career. I'm sorry, no, not yet. In her career, I'm sorry. Five for 10. 
Five assists, one turnover. I had no idea. Yeah, I had no idea. I mean, I can't. I know, I know Beck kept telling me to keep going to the basket the whole time. I mean, I don't really like to, you know, I like to get the ball up. So, I mean, for us to, whatever we got to do to win, I'll be able to do. But to get an accolade like that, like, I couldn't have done it without my teammates. Like, I mean, I think we just got to make sure we all stay confident, have each other's back. You know, it's three days, so we, people going to have their dips, you know. But you always got to stay confident, stay prepared. And I think, you know, I mean, I think as, a, as you get older, you understand that you got to stay confident throughout the, throughout the process. But we couldn't, you know, it's two games. We can't get to the championship with all everyone's hard work. So we just got to stay in it. And I think we do a good job of just staying the course. Good win, good food. Now I'm about to just relax, recover, and be back at the mall. You know what you need to do differently tonight to be standing on that podium, hoisting that trophy? Nothing, right? It's the beauty of the game. We don't have to do anything different. Tonight is all about us playing to our Maryland legacy. That's what tonight is about. That's what makes it so fun. We don't have to do anything differently. We've had over 30 plus games. All right, we've had over 30 plus games to understand and know what it looks like tonight. All right, every single time you shoot the basketball, every single time you shoot the basketball, you know it's going in. That basket out there is gonna look like an ocean. It's gonna feel like an ocean when you shoot the basketball. So guys, you gotta lock in, all right? You gotta lock in with 40 great minutes of effort and energy. 40 great minutes of effort and energy and you go out and show them what Maryland basketball is all about. Over Mosley back to Furman, finishes it off. The depth, the balance, the sacrifice of this team. Nobody cares who gets the credit. They just go out and day in and day out do their work and put themselves in positions to win. just puts the exclamation point on it. And once again, the Maryland Terrapins, the Big Ten Tournament Champions. That's all I got, but she gonna be four for four. Four My for four. Tip. Four for four. And I'm gonna carry on the legacy. Four for me. four. Real quick, real quick, all right? You know, that's never easy, right, what we just did? That's never easy, all right? You never take that for granted in, in terms of a regular season, tournament. I mean, that's where you talk about in terms of the work that we had to put in. And you know what I love about this game is when you talk about this game, we had to earn this game, all right? It wasn't easy, right? The furthest thing that you could imagine, this was a hard fought, tough game. And, and again, what I love about it, it took a team to win this game today. It took a team to win this game tonight, and that's why you guys continue to win, 
you know, you continue to understand what it takes to be a team, all right? And, and you stayed the course, and that's why you're champions. That's why you're champions. So, uh, incredible. And the last thing I'll say, I don't know about you, but our long-term goal is to get back here. Yeah. Okay? This isn't going to be the first time we're in this building. We got one, you know, one more that's going to take a lot of work, all right? A lot of work in terms of what we're going to do. You think you're in some time off, though? Two days off? Yeah. Okay, two days off. Hey, family on three, one, two, three. Family. Hey. Let's go. Uh, I mean, they, they came out heavy. They came out strong in the beginning, but. X Factor. No. Oh, I got it. X Factor. No, they came like a, out. A no. senior. This is a senior bet right here. And honestly, all around team, team effort. Team team effort. Shut up. Modesty. Shut up. Shut up. Her modesty is cute, isn't it? I love it. Hey, this team is effort. Why, this everybody. is why she's one of the best guards ever played. Because her modesty is just hey, so everybody. cute. Everybody came out to play this. I mean, you, everyone. This, this took everybody. Kaya out, like everybody. Our bench. We could not be here if it wasn't for everybody. All the work we put in the off season, things like that, has gotten us to this point. Like this is the end fact that we put a lot of work along the way. It's easy to do it one time, but do it back to back is hard. These girls have sacrificed a lot. You know, I, I can't. I know, especially our senior class, but we've just put a lot aside to be able to look about, think about the team in the bigger picture and. This is everything that you work for. This is everything that you dream for. So to actually see it, you know, it's just fun for me to just watch, to be a part of it and to see my teammates enjoy it. You know, not everybody gets to do it as Bree and Kaya, freshmen, and they already got a regular season in the tournament championship. So it's like, you don't get to do that every day. So I'm just glad, thank you, are able to experience this with us and just be able to experience it as all together. Just we have a special group. We, we have goals. We reach two of our goals. But like I said, our season is far from over. We want to continue to work hard. We have other goals to accomplish.